What if I told you that in less than 1500 years humans could be living for centuries, have full control over their DNA and travel between stars as easily as we take flights today? It may sound like fantasy, but based on our exponential rate of technological advancement, these possibilities aren't just likely, they're practically inevitable. In today's video, we're taking a journey to the year 3500. You'll see technologies that will completely transform what it means to be human, how we'll reshape our planet, colonize other worlds, and maybe, just maybe, achieve something close to immortality. This is life in 3500, and it's going to blow your mind. Transportation in 3500 will barely resemble what we know today. For short distances, matter teleportation may be commonplace. Not the instantaneous Star Trek variety, but disassembly of your molecular structure in one location and reassembly in another. For physical travel, vacuum tube systems will connect major population centers, with vehicles moving at hypersonic speeds. A trip from New York to Tokyo might take 20 minutes. Personal flight will be universal, with gravitic control systems allowing effortless movement in three dimensions. Traffic will be managed by AI systems operating at speeds far beyond human reaction times. For interplanetary travel, fusion-powered craft will make journeys to Mars in days rather than months. Interstellar travel will be underway, with the first-generation ships reaching nearby star systems. Cities will extend not just upward and outward, but into dimensions we can hardly conceive. With anti-gravity technology and ultra-strong materials, structures will defy our current understanding of architecture. Homes will be responsive environments that adapt to inhabitants' needs without explicit commands. Walls, floors, and ceilings will reconfigure themselves for optimal comfort and function. The distinction between technology and environment will blur to invisibility. Let's begin our journey by looking at the biological revolution that will transform humanity itself. In the year 3500, the concept of aging as we know it will be completely transformed. Scientists in our time are already making breakthroughs in understanding the genetic and cellular mechanisms of aging. Fast forward 1500 years and these early discoveries will have evolved into comprehensive age management systems. Imagine regular biological resets that repair cellular damage, clear senescent cells, and regenerate failing organs. The average human lifespan, not 80 or 100 years, but potentially 500 to 1000 years of healthy, vibrant life. Beyond longevity, genetic engineering will have advanced to unimaginable levels. Parents won't just choose their children's eye color or height, They'll select for enhanced intelligence, physical capabilities, and resistance to all known diseases. This raises profound questions. Will we still be human as we understand it today? Will we have branched into different species by design? Some humans might adapt themselves for life in space with radiation resistance and muscle density modifications. Others might enhance themselves for underwater living with artificial gills and pressure adaptations. Then there's the brain-computer interface. Primitive versions exist today, but by the year 3500, the merger between human consciousness and artificial intelligence will be seamless. Imagine direct neural connections to vast knowledge networks, instantaneous skill acquisition, and perfect memory recall. Telekinesis, moving objects with your mind, will be commonplace not through mystical powers but through neurally controlled nanobots and electromagnetic fields. Your thoughts will instantly translate to actions in the physical world. And perhaps most revolutionary direct mind-to-mind -mind communication. Thoughts, emotions, and sensory experiences shared between individuals without speaking a word. Languages as we know them may become obsolete, replaced by a universal system of thought exchange. Energy in 3500 will be practically limitless. Fusion power will have long since been mastered, with reactors ranging from building-sized municipal plants to portable units the size of today's car batteries. Beyond fusion, 
massive solar collectors will orbit close to the sun, beaming power across the solar system. Dyson swarms, partial shells of solar collectors around our star, will capture enormous amounts of energy. Material science will have undergone a complete revolution. Programmable matter composed of nanoscale robots will be able to rearrange itself into virtually any form on command. Furniture, vehicles, buildings, all could be made from the same basic substance reconfigured as needed. Metamaterials with properties impossible in nature will be commonplace. Substances thousands of times stronger than steel but lighter than plastic. Perfect insulators, perfect conductors. Materials that can absorb or emit specific wavelengths of energy on demand. Material shortages will be a distant memory. Asteroid mining will provide virtually unlimited metals and minerals. Carbon will be extracted directly from the atmosphere to create diamond-based construction materials. Manufacturing as we understand it will be obsolete. Molecular assemblers will build objects atom by atom, creating items of perfect precision without waste. The distinction between natural and artificial materials will have little meaning. By 3500, artificial intelligence will have evolved beyond anything we can meaningfully comprehend today. AI systems won't just be tools, but partners in civilization's advancement, with their own goals, ethics, and potentially rights. Virtual reality will be indistinguishable from physical reality. Many humans may choose to live primarily in virtual worlds, where the limitations of physics can be transcended completely. Computing power will allow for the simulation of entire universes with different physical laws. Scientists might create and study thousands of universe variations to understand the foundations of reality itself. Mind uploading the transfer of human consciousness to digital substrates may be commonplace. This could offer a form of immortality with consciousness continuing even after biological death. The boundaries between human and machine intelligence will blur. Enhanced humans working with artificial minds will explore creative and intellectual frontiers impossible for either to reach alone. Matryoshka brains, computational structures built around stars to harness their entire energy output for computation, may be under construction, creating intelligence at scales we can barely imagine. By 3500, our relationship with Earth's environment will be fundamentally different. Climate engineering won't just be about preventing disasters, it will be about precision control of planetary systems. Atmosphere processors will actively maintain optimal gas compositions. Weather patterns will be managed through orbital reflectors and high-altitude energy fields. Natural disasters, mostly a thing of the past. Human habitation will have expanded into previously uninhabitable environments. Vast underwater cities house billions in the ocean depths. Floating metropolises drift through the skies. Antarctica is home to thriving settlements under climate-controlled domes. The deserts of Earth will bloom with engineered ecosystems. Soil nanites will transform sand into fertile ground. Genetically modified plants will thrive in previously impossible conditions. Many extinct species will return through advanced genetic reconstruction. Artificial intelligence will manage global ecosystems with a precision impossible for human comprehension. Every population of every species will be monitored and balanced. Nature and technology won't be separate domains, they'll be integrated into a single harmonious system. Of course, by 3500, humanity will have long since become a multi-planetary species, but the extent of our cosmic footprint might be more impressive than you imagine. By this distant future, we'll likely have established permanent settlements throughout our solar system. 
floating cities in the Venus upper atmosphere, massive dome complexes across Mars, mining operations throughout the asteroid belt, research stations orbiting the gas giants, and perhaps most impressively, settlements on the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Imagine cities beneath the ice sheets of Europa where residents might keep exotic deep sea creatures as pets and commute via submarine tunnels, or settlements on Titan with its thick atmosphere and low gravity where humans might strap on wingsuits and fly under their own power. These wouldn't just be scientific outposts, they'd be thriving societies with their own cultures, art forms, and perhaps even physical adaptations suited to their environments. But what about beyond our solar system? By the year 3500, it's likely humanity will have sent its first interstellar missions. These might not be traditional spaceships as we understand them today, but could take several forms. First, generation ships, massive self-contained habitats where multiple generations live and die during the journey to another star. By 3500, several such vessels might be decades or even centuries into their voyages. Alternatively, we might see digital emissaries, spacecraft carrying highly advanced AIs or digital consciousness that require less life support than biological humans, making interstellar travel more practical. And perhaps most intriguingly, if certain theoretical physics breakthroughs occur, we might develop propulsion systems allowing for significant fractions of light speed, or even exploit space-time itself through warp fields or wormholes. While these remain speculative today, 1,500 years of scientific advancement might turn today's theoretical physics into tomorrow's engineering. But perhaps the most profound aspect of humanity's expansion into space won't be technological, but philosophical. Living among the stars will give our descendants perspectives we can barely imagine. Seeing Earth as a precious blue marble in the vastness of space becomes very different when you're viewing it from a settlement on Callisto, rather than just seeing pictures. This cosmic perspective might fundamentally transform human consciousness and our understanding of our place in the universe. As we've seen, life in 3500 will likely be utterly transformed by technologies that seem like magic to us today. But throughout human history, one thing has remained constant, our endless curiosity and drive to create. The road from our present to this future will be filled with challenges, ethical dilemmas, and choices that will define what humanity becomes. The future isn't just something that happens to us, it's something we create together. What would you do with 500 years of healthy life? How would you use the power to reshape matter with your thoughts? What worlds would you create if reality was yours to define? If you found this journey into the future fascinating, hit that like button and subscribe to join me for more explorations of tomorrow's possibilities. Share your thoughts about life in 3500 in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, stay bold, and never stop dreaming.